This video is on how to find successive differences. So first of all, why do we find successive differences? Well, successive differences tell us what type of function we have. Because in a linear function, we know that our first differences are constant. Linear, an example of that is something like 5x plus 2. The reason it's linear is because it has an exponent of 1. In a quadratic function, we know that our second differences are constant. An example of a quadratic function would be 4x squared minus 4x plus 3. And the reason that it's quadratic is because we have an exponent of 2. In a cubic function, our third differences are constant. An example of a cubic function is x cubed minus 5x plus 7. It's cubic because it has an exponent of 3. So whatever differences are constant will tell you what type of function it is. For example, if we had the tenth differences that were constant, it would be an equation that had an x to the tenth. So let's take a look at how we find them. So here's a table. The directions say, determine the type of relationship for this set of ordered pairs and explain. So in order to do this, we're going to find our successive differences. I'm going to take my y values and I'm going to subtract them starting from the bottom up. So 44 minus 24 is going to give me 20. 24 minus 10 is 14. 10 minus 2 is 8. And 2 minus 0 is 2. We always want to work from the bottom up. So now I look. Is this row constant, meaning are they all the same number? The answer is no, so I'm going to keep going on. So now I have 14 and 20. So I do the bottom minus the top. 20 minus 14 is 6. 14 minus 8, 6. And 8 minus 2, 6. I look here. I have a constant column. Every number is a 6. So these are my first differences. And these are my second differences. So because my second differences are constant, it means that it's quadratic. So I'm just going to write a sentence that says that. The function is quadratic because the second differences are constant. And that's it.